Welcome to the Clap Back with Julie Roginski, where we take Twitter back from the trolls, so haters may hate, but I clap back. The battle for closing the gender pay gap is a year-round fight, but yesterday officially marked Equal Pay Day, the day identified how far into the year women must work in order to make what men earned in the previous year. So I tweeted my support, which seems like a reasonable thing to do. On Equal Pay Day, I join women around the world fighting for pay parity with men. And here are some of the um, interesting responses to which I, I can't even, but, but I will. Reactionary tweeted, quote, pay parity would only happen if women would work the same type of dangerous and hazardous jobs slash hours as men, e.g. construction, mining, etc. Oh, reactionary, here are some cold hard numbers for you. In 2016, 10.32 million women were employed in construction. 792,000 of the fairer sex were employed in mining, quarrying, and oil and gas extraction. And 53,000 women were employed in coal mining. So reactionary, it appears as if your argument is the alternative kind, if you will. Then Brandon jumped in and wrote, gender isn't a job description, okay? Women are more likely to earn a degree than men, and yet liberal women still find a way to, is that, is that a crying emoji? And Chris wrote, women can start by working the same hours. Oh, Chris. Brandon, let me fill you in on something. The more educated women are, the higher up they go in the echelon of opportunity, the larger the wage gap. They actually get less than men the higher up in the chain they go. How many female CEOs do you see compared to how many men do you see? And as for working the same hours, oh, we work the same hours. Then we also come home and take care of the kids and, uh, you know, cook your dinners for you and do all the things that you don't want to do while you're sitting on the couch watching TV often. So I don't want to stereotype men and I don't want to stereotype women, but that's exactly what you're doing and it's offensive. Women work hard, one, two, sometimes three jobs and then come home and take care of their families in much, much higher numbers than men ever do. So I'll see you on the front lines of defeating the trolls and of winning the equal pay for equal work battle. I'm Julie Roginski with Fox News.